What if Goku was born with Ultra Instinct? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 10? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku was born with Ultra Instinct, we mentioned that Goku and everyone has now fought with Beerus the Destroyer. As he went and he knocked most of the Z Fighters down and now it led to Goku, Broly and Cell. Broly and Cell went and they used their full power and they charged at Beerus, pushing Beerus to go and use his Ultra Instinct. Beerus has now used his Ultra Instinct as he went and easily overpowered Broly and Cell and he knocked both of them to the ground. Goku went and used his Ultra Instinct as a battle between two Ultra Instinct users begun. Goku went and attacked Beerus but Beerus was overpowering Goku easily as he decked him to the ground and from there Goku went and he used his Master Ultra Instinct. He then went and decked Beerus out of space as he started to attack him non-stop. While Goku and Beerus were going at it, Champa has now arrived to Universe 7 as he heard that Beerus was fighting with a mortal and he came to Earth and started to aid Beerus in his fight. Champa and Beerus went and they began to overpower Goku as Goku didn't know what to do but from there we saw a shine on Goku's eyes as Beerus and Champa went and they threatened to destroy the earth and they threw Goku to the ground. Goku remembered his loved ones as he got up and he has now transformed into his beyond master ultra instinct as he went and he one shot Beerus and Champa to the ground and they didn't stand a chance against him. Whis offered Goku to come and train with him so he could get stronger. What if Goku was born with Ultra Instinct Part 10? Goku and the Z Fighters went to Beerus' world and their training begun. Goku was known through the multiverse to be the only person to master Ultra Instinct and even go beyond that. Also, Goku was known to be the only mortal to beat two destroyer in one fight. Champa left back to his universe as he had a plan to hold a tournament between him and Beerus and the rule for this tournament was that Goku couldn't participate and that the winner gets to have the Super Dragon Ball. They agreed as Vegeta, Broly, Cell, Gohan and Bardock went and they easily beat everyone. From there, Beerus got the Super Dragon Ball and he made a wish to restore Earth back for Champa's universe. They all came back and their training continued. While Goku was mastering his new power, on Earth, Frieza's men came and they tried to use the Dragon Balls to bring back Frieza but then Raditz and Nappa sensed them and before they can use the Dragon Balls, they went and they killed Frieza's men, ending them once and for all. They then went and told Goku and everyone what happened and from there Goku invited him to come and train at Beerus' world. While that was happening, back on the future Trunks' timeline, a man was killing everyone who looked completely like Goku while Future Trunks was running away from his life and he said, You can't hide from me Trunks, no matter what you do, I'll find you. <laughs> Trunks managed to go and escape using the time machine that Boma made him and he has now came to the present timeline. While that was happening, on Beerus' world, Vegeta finished his intense training with Whis and Goku as he managed to swallow his pride and he asked Goku to help him achieve Ultra Instinct while Gohan was able to infuse his Ultra Instinct to his mystic form. He did it once in during his fight with Majin Buu and now he was trying to do it again. Are you sure Vegeta you want me to push you to your limit? Oh shut up you clown! I already asked you once! I'm not going to ask again and don't hold anything back you got it? <laughs> okay then, let's do this. <laughs> Goku went and he used his Master Ultra Instinct and he powered up a Kamehameha wave. Goku went and threw the wave at Vegeta 
as we saw that Vegeta had some spark in his eyes and from there Vegeta went and he tried his best to block the attack but he got hit by the attack while being hit by Goku's Kamehameha wave. Vegeta went to some shock wave as he had hard time pushing back and he couldn't breathe and from there he fell to the ground. Once when Goku's Kamehameha wave dispersed, Vegeta took a deep breath as he let everything go and from there he managed to get up and Goku and we saw that Vegeta was glowing. He has now achieved his autonomous ultra instinct for the very first time. Vegeta looked at Goku and he tried to attack Goku but Goku went and tapped on his shoulder and Vegeta passed out. Everyone saw that Vegeta tried to hold his own with his ultra instinct and that he was able to use it. From there Gohan came up to Goku and he used his mystic form fusing his ultra instinct and he started to attack Goku. But Goku dodged it very easily as he was very impressed with Gohan and from there he went and he knocked Gohan down and he passed out. Ever since they came to Beerus' world and they trained, everyone there managed to get God Key. Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Gohan and even Bardock knows how to go and transform into a Super Saiyan God. Cell has also gained God Key training with Wii. While they were training, back on Bulma's home, Trunks has now arrived there as he crash landed on her home and he passed out. Bulma went to aid him and she saw that he was very hurt and during his pain, Trunks' eyes was closed as he kept calling for Goku. Bulma went and she called Goku and everyone to come to Earth as Trunks has arrived and when Goku took everyone back, he saw that Trunks was lying there as he told everyone who Trunks was and that Trunks was the man who warned him about the android and he saved Goku's life. Goku also told Vegeta and Bulma that Trunks is their child. Trunks woke up as he saw Goku and from there he told Goku everything about Black. Everyone couldn't believe that there's someone out there who looks completely like Goku and he was very evil. While Trunks was explaining to them about Black, the skies went dark as winds started to blow very fast and from there, Black has now arrived to the present timeline. As he was surprised to see that and from there, he said, Hmm, I see. So Trunks managed to run here, huh? What the? What is Beerus the Destroyer doing here? Looks like I gotta kill him just like I did in my timeline. I see. If it isn't Goku. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, Goku. Who are you? Why do you look like me? Call me Goku Black. Let's see who's stronger, a mortal or a god. Goku flew towards Black and from there their battle began. Goku and Black were going at it as Black went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Rose and he started to hit Goku with everything he's got. Goku was very surprised as he went and transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue as him and Black were going head to head and they were equally tied. Black was being overpowered as he was starting to figure out how to use Goku's power but before he can use it, Black got sucked back to his timeline and from there Beerus and Whis saw that he had a time ring. They decided to go to Universe 10 to find out more about Goku Black. Goku and Vegeta offered to go with them as Goku went and he kai kai them to Universe 10. Once when they got there, Beerus went and he talked to Goasu while Goku and Vegeta saw Zamasu was standing there watering the plant. Goasu and Beerus came towards Goku as Goasu told him that Zamasu is the strongest kai in the multiverse. Goku got very excited to hear that. As he wanted to fight him, Zamasu saw Goku as he got very mad seeing a mortal but because of Goasu's request, he had no choice but to spar with Goku. Goku went and he decked him hard to the ground as Zamasu started to bleed from his mouth. The battle came to an end and from there Zamasu was very embarrassed that a mortal beat him. From there he got very mad at Goku as he went to use his hand and he tried to kill Goku but Vegeta was in the way so he decided to go and attack Vegeta instead. Before he can hit Vegeta, Vegeta sends Zamasu coming towards him as he turned around and he grabbed Zamasu's hand and from there Vegeta striked him in the face very hard. He broke Zamasu's nose as he started to bleed a lot and from there Vegeta went and pounded on his face non-stop punching him very fast. Zamasu was all bruised up and from there Vegeta went to power up a final flash to kill him. Before he can, Goku came right in front of him and he stopped him and he said, Leave it Vegeta, he's not worth our time. 
Vegeta spared him as they decide to go back to Earth and find out how to go and fight Black again. Zamasu got very mad and said, Vegeta and Goku, you two will pay for your insolent. Just watch what I'm going to do. Goku and everyone came back as they all decided to go back to future Trunks' timeline and to end Black once and for all. It is going to take them time to get there because Boma need to fix the spaceship. While she was doing that, Goku got some sense of being for his fight as he came back and him and Vegeta began to spar a couple hours inside the hyperbolic time chamber. Brawly and Cell were sparring with one another as Boma managed to go and finish fixing the time machine. Goku, Vegeta, Brawly, Cell, Gohan and Future Trunks all went to the future timeline to stop Goku Black while Bardock, Raditz and Nappa were training with Whis. Upon their arrival, they saw that everything was destroyed and ruined as Vegeta got very mad and Gohan looked at Goku and said, Dad, we need to end this bastard. We will son, I promise. Hmm, <laughs> let me call this bastard out. Cell went and threw an attack in the air, but out of nowhere Black has arrived as he looked at him and he said, Welcome to this timeline you shitheads, looks like you managed to come here too. That's one reason why I hate you mortals, always playing with time. We're here to kill you once and for all Black. Uh Goku, because I fought you, I have a new technique that I learned. I don't care what you learn, all you need to know is that I'm the one that's going to end you. Not if I have to say about this, Cell went and he uses Ultra Instinct. I'm going to end this bastard myself. Thanks for training with Whis, I too have God Key. Cell went and he started to attack Black nonstop as he went and he started to beat the shit out of him. Black smiled as he ripped Cell's arm off, causing him to bleed a lot, but Cell went and regenerated himself. From there, Black looked at him and he said, For a lowly animal, you've come quite far. As a reward, I'll show you how far I've come. Say what? <laughs> Black has transformed into his master ultra instinct. I have finally learned Goku's technique and power. It is all mine. <laughs> he has master ultra instinct too? Just who is he? Goku went and he transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct and from there he charged at Black and their battle began. They were going head to head as Goku went and decked Black in the face but Black went and he kicked Goku in the guts as they were equally tied. Vegeta wanted to go and fight too but before he can go and charge at Black, he got decked by someone who he couldn't see who did it. Black went and he said, I learned to study your move Goku and now look what I have. Black has transformed to his beyond master ultra instinct as Goku was completely shocked and from there he went and he transformed to his beyond master ultra instinct. Those two were going at it while Brawly, Gohan, Cell and Vegeta were watching hopelessly. They got mad as they wanted to go and help Goku so they decided to go power up and help him. Before they can, someone came and said, How pathetic! Looks like you mortals believe you're stronger than a god! What? Don't tell me! No, not Vegeta too! Someone looked completely like Vegeta as he has now arrived and he said, It's time to end you once and for all! Vegeta was confused. As he went and he used his Super Saiyan Blue and he charged at Vegeta Black and those two were going at it. While Goku and Goku Black were fighting, Black went and he kneed Goku in the stomach as he threw him to the ground and from there, Goku went, kicked Black's ankle very hard as he fell to the ground and from there Goku said, Who are you? Hmm, well I'm you Goku, what do you mean? After you beat Zamasu, I studied you and Vegeta 
for about a couple of months. And from there, I went and used the Super Dragon Balls, and I wished to become you. Huh? In other words, I am Zamasu, who wished to switch body with you. And this is my counterpart Zamasu from this timeline. <laughs> he used the Dragon Balls to wish to switch body with Vegeta. You both messed up big time for beating me. You mean you're Zamasu? Oh, that makes so much sense! Goku charged up as he went and he started to punch Black in the face very hard. While Vegeta went and he was beating the shit out of Vegeta Black, but Vegeta Black started to overpower Vegeta as he went and he threw him to the ground and from there Vegeta went back to his base form as he has gone and tapped into his autonomous ultra instinct. From there he went and charged at Vegeta Black and he punched him very hard causing him to bleed and he started to beat the shit out of him. Vegeta Black didn't know how to use the autonomous ultra instinct as he didn't study Vegeta's power and from there Vegeta had the upper hand. Goku Black saw that Vegeta Black was being overpowered by Vegeta as he flew towards Vegeta and he kicked him really hard and he said to Vegeta Black, let's fuse, we'll end these mortal once and for all. You're right Black. I think we should fuse and show them our true power. <laughs> I love it. Just where do you guys think you're going? Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born with Ultra Instinct. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out.